Okay, we're going to have you stay at the tables, and uh, I'll take you through the thoracic inlet technique, and um, maybe I could demonstrate on here if I may. Would that be all right, sir? Okay. And so the thoracic inlet technique is a indirect technique that deals with fascial strains and tension at the thoracic inlet. Okay, and that's explained in more detail on, on our PDF, and uh, an overview is given on the, the video as well. So, in this technique, the thumb goes posterior uh, to the first rib right at the base of the neck, and the fingers are uh, laid anterior, going over the clavicle, and you're going to have a, a caudad pressure on each side to assess the ease of motion at that thoracic inlet. And in this case, uh, it's a little bit more pref uh, prefers uh, left side bending. And you want to have three planes of motion, okay? So you're going to have side bending, rotation, and flexion or extension. So we're going to side bend. He's going to prefer a little right rotation. And he prefers a little flexion as there as well. Now let me have you take a deep breath in. Great, and out. Okay, and hold it out, please. So this is going to be really useful for headaches, for example, or sinus congestion, um, and, and anything where you have a backup of fluid, otitis media. And so we explain this in real simple terms, that the, the fluid needs to get out of the head. It has to go through the neck. It has to get in through the thoracic inlet. And thin-walled uh, structures such as uh, the veins and the lymphatics can be, uh, can be facilitated by allowing the uh, a flow through this fascial area. Okay? And you're going to wait for a meltdown or a change at the end point of this. Um, are they going to feel that right away? No, but at least they understand what the students are doing. Okay? That's the purpose here. Okay. All right? So go ahead and try that. Pair up and... Uh, Try the uh, thoracic inlet, please. Thank you. Okay. All right, good.
Okay, one minute. Okay, so as you're finishing up, and as you're bringing your attention back here, a couple of comments that came out that I think are important for sharing. First of all, our colleague from West Virginia had said that they encourage their students to demonstrate their techniques, their procedures on their preceptors as a way to educate them first so that it is not done in a vacuum so that they have a sense of how the student actually would um, incorporate these procedures as well. And I think that's an excellent idea. We also, when we have them go through their competency before they leave us, we encourage them also to share with their preceptors, but I didn't say that in the presentation. The other thing is that it was pointed out that we didn't see contraindications and we didn't see the expansive list on some of the other basic skills. It's not because they're not there, it's because they're on the PDF we only did it for one to illustrate how it would have been educated in the larger DVD presentation. But what I like most is, first of all, that we have this discussion that has um, started here today. What I like is that we have some ideas that have come from different schools that actually now ignite, perhaps, a larger way of approaching the issue and maybe as a united approach from school to school and so that we actually then begin to have those best ideas, the best practices, what has worked, what might be specific for one region may not be for another. So I would like to encourage a dialogue then. I'd like to have this, if you are interested, a forum, a maybe an ongoing discussion on how you are uh, implementing it or how things are working or what areas that have been a challenge for you and how you've addressed that, okay? So we have our email addresses and I think that we should actually start the dialogue and perhaps we will be able to get our students to be able to incorporate their palpatory skills and actually be able to benefit their patients for their health status and to the best of their wellness. So I, I thank you so much for your attention, your participation, and I encourage any questions or any thoughts or any discussions, uh, please uh, share with us and uh, our colleagues here. So, yes, yes. Okay, yes, Dr. Gimple. Uh -huh. So, Dr. Gimple with the NBOME, and there is uh, a resource for students um, regarding the PE portion of the exam and a lot of specific OPP, OMT techniques. Have you looked at that, at those particular videos and modules and things like that? How does that compare? Okay, excellent question. Um, Dr. King, you wanna speak to that? You said yes? Yes.